Alright, I'm going to start by clicking on Action Script 3.0 and then I'm going to change my frames per second in the Properties panel to 12. I'll change the size, the width of my stage to 1920 and I'll change the height to 1080. I'm going to go to my zoom level right here and go to Fit in Window and then I'm just going to change this. I'll reduce the percentage a little bit so I can see the entire canvas here. Up here on the timeline in the top right corner, I'm going to click on this and go to medium size for my keyframes. And I think I'm ready to start working on this animation project. So I'm going to double click here on layer one and I'm going to call this BG for background. And I'm going to take my line tool right here. I'm going to click on this line tool and I'm going to change the stroke, the size of the line. I'm going to change this to four. And I'm just going to click and drag a line and see, yeah, I think I like the width, the, uh, width uh, the thickness of that line. So I'm just going to hit Command-Z to undo. And I'm going to draw in an angled line starting from the left side of the stage here. And I'll let go. And then I'll hold down Shift because I want to draw a vertical line going straight down right here. And then I'll let go of the Shift key. I'll hold down Shift again and I'm going to draw a horizontal line. And then I'll let go of the shift key, hold down shift one more time, and I'm going to draw a vertical line going down. Alright, so now I'm going to take my selection tool. I'm going to select the, the this line right here and just delete the edge that goes off the stage. I'll do the same thing down here. Okay. I'll take the line tool one more time, and I'm just going to trace the outer edge of the stage here. And then I'll take my selection tool. I'm going to select this whole thing, just move it down a little bit. So I'm going to nudge it. I'll use the arrows on my keyboard. So I'm going to hit the down arrow. I just want this to fit in this corner here. Now I'm going to fill this with a color. So I'm going to go over here to the um, fill color. I'll click on this and I'll choose an orange color here. I'll take my paint bucket tool and fill this in with orange. Alright, now um, this is my background layer and I'm going to create a keyframe at the end of the animation over here. So we're going to go to frame 32. So I'll click on that frame and then I'm going to right click and go to insert keyframe. And Now I can just check and make sure that the background is showing up for the duration of my animation. All right, so now it's time to create a new layer. So I'm going to click on the new layer icon right here. I'll double click on this and we're going to call this blue path. The path that we're going to create is going to be for a bowling ball that's going to roll down from this uh, slope down onto the ground, hit the ground and bounce two times and roll to a stop. So I'm going to change my color here to blue and I'll just switch to my paintbrush and I'm going to draw in the path that I want the bowling ball to follow. So I've got my curve coming from this line, from this ledge up here going down, and then we'll have a short bounce right here. And then one more tiny bounce, and that's going to be it. So I'm going to go to the end of the animation here, click on the last frame on frame 32, and then I'll right click and go to insert keyframe. Now I'm going to lock the blue path, and actually I'm going to lock the background layer as well. And I'm going to create a new layer, and we'll call this bowling ball. All right. So now I'm going to switch to my oval tool right here. So I'm going to click on that. And then I can see, I just want to check and make sure my stroke thickness is set to 4. And I'll just change this blue to a slightly darker color here. So I want my fill color to be blue and I want my stroke color to be black. And then I'm going to hold down the shift key and I'll just click and drag and create a circle here. Okay, 
I'm going to hit Command Plus to zoom in. I'll hold down the space bar and click and drag and just move my canvas over here. Now I'm going to change the fill color. I'm going to make it a darker blue. And then I'm going to just hold down the Shift key and click and drag. I want three circles here. I think that'll be close enough. So now I have my bowling ball set up here. And I'm going to hit Command minus and just move this over. So now we can start animating this bowling ball coming down, bouncing, and then rolling to a stop. So I've got my other two layers locked, which is good. And what I'll do now is I'll start to add in key positions of my animation to establish the timing that I want. So I'm going to take my selection tool, I'll select the bowling ball right here, and I'm going to move my slider to frame 8, and I'll click on that frame, and then I'll right click and go to insert keyframe. Then I'm going to move the selected bowling ball down and put it right on this ledge here, and if I need to I can use the arrows on my keyboard to nudge this down until it touches the line there. So now I have a key position on frame 1 and a key position on frame 8. So now I'm going to go from frame 8 to 10. I'll right click, go to insert keyframe. I'm going to move the ball up to the top of this curve right here. And then I'm going to go to frame 12. I'll right click and go to insert keyframe. I'm going to move this back down to the ground. I'll just nudge this using the arrows on my keyboard. And then I'm going to go to frame 13, right click, insert keyframe. I'll move this up just a tiny bit. And I'll go to frame 14, right click, insert keyframe. And then I'll move this back down. So now I'm just going to start at the beginning of my timeline up here and I'll press return and see what I have. So it's a little bit hard to tell going from 1 to 8 here how that's going to go. But we can see I like the bounces that are happening at the bottom or the end of the animation. But I think for now that'll work. So I'm going to start to fill in the frames in between our key positions here. So what I'm going to do is go to frame 8 and then I will turn on my onion skin right here and I'll change the range from 1 oops let's try that again I'm going to go to frame 7 here and I want to change the range from 1 to 8 so now I can click on this blank space on frame 7 right click go to insert keyframe and then I'll take the bowling ball and I'm just going to move it I don't want it exactly in the middle but I want it maybe two-thirds down between these two drawings here. So now I'm going to go back one frame, go from frame 7 to frame 6, right-click, insert keyframe, and I'll put this right, not quite right in the middle, but almost right in the middle of those two drawings. All right, I'm going to go to frame 5, right-click, insert keyframe, just divide this in half, go right in between those two drawings, and move this over using the arrows on the keyboard. I go to frame 4, right click, insert keyframe. Okay, I'll go back to frame 3, insert a keyframe. I'll just put this in between these two. And we'll go to frame 2, right click, insert keyframe. And I'm going to need to use the arrows to make this adjustment here. So I'll turn off the uh, onion skin here. And I'm going to play the animation now. Play it one more time. Okay. So I'm satisfied with that. 
And now let's see, I'm going to go to frame 9 here. And I'm going to turn on my onion skin. I'll change the range here. Now I can see both positions. Uh, and I can insert a keyframe here on frame 9. So go to insert keyframe. I'm going to move this up, and I want to move the drawing closer to the fr uh, drawing towards the apex of the bounce here, rather than uh, closer to the, um, or right in the middle between the two drawings. Just move it a little bit closer to that top drawing. Now I'm going to go switch to frame 11, right click, go to insert keyframe, and I'll, once again I want the drawing right here closer to the drawing at the top rather than the drawing at the bottom. Alright, uh, let's bring this back here. Okay, alright, so now what we want to do is we just want to give ourselves a little bit of time here for the bowling ball to roll to a stop. So I'm going to go from frame 14 here to frame 18. I'll right click, go to insert keyframe. And then I'm going to roll forward here, not a whole lot. And then I'm going to tween between 14 and 18. So I'll click in the uh, one of the blank frames in between those two keyframes, right click and go to create classic tween. And then I'll go over here to my uh, tweening options, click on the pencil, and I'll click on the um, keyframe here at the t at the end of the animation. And basically what I want to do is, as we're moving forward in time, I want to slow into that last position. So I'll take this handle and push this up. And that way it's moving faster here. We're changing distance faster right here, covering more ground. And as it gets towards that last keyframe, it's, the distance um, gets shorter and shorter between each drawing. So I'm just going to adjust this a tiny bit, hit OK. And I'm going to test this out and see how it looks. So I'll press return. And that's way too fast at the end there. So I'm going to click on frame 18 and select it. And then I'm going to click and drag and move it to frame 20. By extending the keyframe out, I've given the ball more time to travel between those two key positions. So that's going to appear to move slower. The second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select the bowling ball and I'm going to move the final position of the bowling ball to the left a little bit. I don't want it to roll quite as far. So I'll select the keyframe and then I'll just move this over slightly. Now I'll just test out the animation. And now I'm satisfied with the result. So we've got our bowling ball coming down and bouncing and rolling to a stop. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to add in some secondary action. So what we'll do is we'll rotate this bowling ball as it's coming down and that'll add a little bit more life to our animation. So I'm going to start over here on frame one and we'll just um, take our, ro our uh, free transform tool here and I'm going to rotate this back a little bit and then I'll go to frame 2 and you can see we've got a little bit of turning going on there I'll go to frame 3 and I'll rotate this to the right a little bit here and we can see there's some rotation happening here so now let's go to frame 4 rotate this some more So I probably need to rotate this even more. Okay. So now on frame five, bring our rotation forward here. So frame six, we continue to rotate. Go to frame seven. And then frame eight. 
So I'm just following the uh, these three holes for the fingers on the bowling ball here. All right. So you can barely tell what's going on on these little bumps here because it's moving pretty fast. But we want to keep the rotation happening here. So on frame 8, I'll take this. We want to bring this a little bit closer to so frame 8, frame 9. That looks decent. Maybe rotate it a little bit more this way. Okay. On frame 10 here, I'm going to rotate it to the left a little bit. I'm going to check frame 9. Okay, that looks good. On frame 11, rotate it to the right a little bit. Frame 12, rotate to the right. So here on frame 13, make sure that's close to 12 in terms of the rotation. And then on 14, make sure we're close here. So from frame 14 to 20, we have a tween. So that means that the computer is going to rotate the bowling ball for us. But right now, the rotation is going in the wrong direction. So what I need to do is I need to go to frame 20, and I need to rotate it backwards a little bit. So now, when I go forward in the time, it's going to keep rolling in the correct direction. So I'll press return and play this. That's looking pretty good. So now I'm going to lock the bowling ball layer here. And I'm going to create a new layer. And I'll double click on this. And we're going to call this Orange Path. Click on my fill color here. I'm going to choose an orange color. Take my paintbrush. And let's see, I'm going to bring the bowling ball back to frame 7. We want to be on frame 7. And then I'm going to have a second ball right here. This is going to be a beach ball. And it's going to, the bowling ball is going to roll off this ledge and hit the beach ball. And it's going to shoot the beach ball up into the air and bounce off this other ledge here. So the path for the beach ball is going to start right about here in between two points, contact points on the bowling ball right here. So I'll start right here. I'm going to go way up, and then down, and then another. So I'm going to try that line one more time. And then I think I want to just adjust the, the curve on the other side here. So I'll try that just one more time here. And I think I like that line. So now I'll take the eraser and erase the old line. And then I'll go down to the bottom here and just erase the excess that goes off of the canvas. I think that's going to be pretty good. So I'm going to, uh, let's see here, we need to add a keyframe at the end of our animation on frame 32. So I'll right click and go to insert keyframe. And then I'll lock the orange path layer. And I'm going to create a new layer. We'll call this beach ball. And this is a good stopping point and we'll finish this exercise in a second video.